dear friends welcome to infos welcome to another video from infos welcome to oil and gas training series and let us continue our effort to study about the gas processing today i am going to discuss about the gas processing part 3 actually it is uh, gas sweetening natural gas sweetening let us uh, go ahead directly there without further discussion so what is gas processing let us see that gas sweetening removal of h2s and co2 from natural gas using an aqueous solution of amine using the process absorption h2s and co2 is further removed from amine solution by regeneration process and reused further like let us have a quick look into the picture you will get the understanding yeah. better see if this is the first tower is a absorption process taking place the sour gas which is entering from here gas plus natural gas plus h2s and co2 we call it is acid gas so when the time is another uh, liquid solution of amine and aqueous solution of amine this is solvent which is entering from the top of the tower and counter current flow is maintaining both are mixing together and all the h2s and co2 that is the acid gas is absorbing by amine and sweet gas that is the natural sweet gas without h2s is releasing from the top the rich amine which is uh, amine plus acid gas is uh, uh, settled in the downside and which is uh, connected to the another vessel called the regenerator in that one it is uh, using a technology of a boiling point difference boiling uh, together and uh, the higher boiling point is uh, or lower boiling point acid gas is releasing early and uh, pure amine is uh, recycling further back to absorb this is the process that is what written here removal of h2s and co2 from natural gas using an aqueous solution of amine using the process absorption h2s and co2 further removed from amine solution by regeneration process and reused further so it is clear that in simple and brief explanation about natural gas sweetening so before going to discuss uh, uh, in detail natural gas sweetening in detail let us have a quick look on uh, absorption process so have a look here absorption process uh, earlier i discussed that one it is rich gas that is entering uh, before that one the tower is a vertical tower inside some uh, internals are there we will discuss in detail that one in coming slides so internals are there and in the tower it is one uh, component it is entering from the bottom and a liquid component is entering from the bot uh, top and both are counter current flow is maintaining liquid is coming down through the internals and the rich gas is entering uh, moving to from bottom to top through the internals and one liquid is uh, releasing out from the bottom and lean gas is releasing from the top so let us see what is this one so it's a physical process gas liquid separation process gas liquid separation remember this one it's a gas two components are there in this one what is this one it is a plus b is there a is uh, natural gas and b is acid gas a plus b is entering from here and liquid that is c it is entering from the top so a plus b entering from here b is from entering from here so that is gas liquid suppression process so it is uh, a liquid uh, vapor two gas is there compared to the a b is it separating using a liquid which is called c here so it is a vapor liquid contact application example gas sweetening that is the best example sour gas and lean amine entering sour gas is entering from here and lean amine is entering from here so it is uh, the output of the product is getting sweet gas plus rich amine <clears throat> sweet gas plus rich amine sour gas mean natural gas uh, plus hydrogen sulfide plus acid gas uh, or uh, 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 co2 acid gas sweet gas means natural gas without h2s so rich amine is amine plus h2s so these are the uh, components so liquid is using a liquid is using to separate one of the constituents of a gas mixture 
what I told you, A plus B is a gas mixture, C is the liquid mixture. So C is using to separate A plus B. Is, so in that one, B is uh, joining with the <coughs> C and A is getting a lot. So uh, a liquid is using to separate one of the constituent from a gas mixture. Phase relation is the function of uh, pressure and temperature and the composition of oil. Which are the process variable going to affect the performance of the absorption process? Pressure, temperature and the composition of the lean oil. If the amine is uh, polluted or amine is not pure, how much as, as much as of amine is pure, the absorption process will be very effective. Whenever absor uh, amine is uh, dissolved or H2S or acid gas is dissolved in amine, amine is less uh, concentrated, then uh, it is the absorption process will be uh, difficult to achieve. So it's high pressure and low temperature operation. So the absorber will be working as a high temperature, but in the low pressure, uh, sorry, high pressure and low temperature. As components are absorbed, the temperature of the gas and oil phases will increase due to heat of absorption. The heat released is proportional to the amount of gas absorbed. In many cases, sodium chlorides are used to the absorber to limit the temperature rise in absorption. That means heat of release and because of the absorption, heat of heat of absorption will be there because of the process will get itself will heated. So we are providing separate side coolers to maintain the low temperature in absorber. So let us uh, understand uh, a contracting tower, a simple explanation of a contracting tower. Contract towers are vertical column designed to accomplish the scrubbing of one component from the gas stream by circulating the lean solution. Built in height up to 20 meter, sometimes even higher, and diameter of several meters. It is a mass transfer operation. Maybe at least some of you studied in the college about the mass transfer. So just to go to the, your uh, mass transfer book and just to review it that way, what is the absorption in a mass transfer operation. So you will get a, a better understanding on uh, absorption in detail. So it is the how the process uh, calculation is taking place. LB plus VT, that is LB, that is the outside the product LB plus VT equal to VB plus LT or LT plus VB. B is the vapor flow rate, L is the liquid flow rate, and T and B is the top and bottom tower respectively. And the component material balance also providing here. I'm not going to discuss about it. It is not much important in our level. So just to uh, showing this one, that's all. So our absorption uh, column type, different type of uh, absorbers are there. In this one, one is a tray, tray, tray type that is uh, showing here in details we are getting. Another one is a packet type, like the instead of the tray internals, there is a random packings are collecting here. Uh, here, so the liquid is spraying here, yeah, gas vapor is uh, entering from here. Here the sour gas is uh, uh, entering from here, this is the sour gas from the inlet separator. Sour gas is entering from here, see. This one arrow is not correct here. So gas is entering from here and uh, lean amine is from enter here from here. So this one. So tray type and packet type. Let us uh, discuss uh, tray column in details. Uh, these are the tray column and uh, what are the this one plate or trays used as internals. Liquid flowing from top to bottom. Gas flowing from bottom to top. So liquid is from uh, top to bottom, gas is from uh, bottom to top and maintaining gas liquid contact is stage wise, one stage, stage one, two, three, like this one, or one, two, three, like this, stage wise. And uh, counter current flow, flow is counter current. So in packed column, but it is not like that one. Similar uh, to tray column for liquid and vapor flow, it is counter current flow. But no trace, random packing is used to increase the 
contact area between liquid and vapor phase. Different type of packing. Gas liquid contact is continuous but not stage wise. In uh, tricolum it was uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 number of stages. And, but here it is uh, continuous. Mass, uh, most cases counter current flow pattern used. Performance depend on, on the good gas liquid distribution throughout the packed bed. So choice of uh, packing column is there, but this, this, this is slightly higher level or not, not operation level. Plate columns can be designed to handle a wide range of liquid and gas flow rate than packed columns. Packed columns are not suitable for very low liquid flow rate. Plate columns provide a better efficiency. Better cooling uh, takes place in uh, plate type. Provide coils for uh, cooling in packed type. Packed column using uh, for corrosive liquid. Uh, packed columns are uh, suitable, more suitable for handling foaming system. See corrosive liquid. So uh, and uh, uh, handling foaming type of liquid, it is uh, suitable for uh, packed column. The pressure drop for equilibrium stages uh, can be lower in uh, packing column than plate. Packing should be always considered the smaller diameter column, say less than 0.6 meter. Plate type is expensive for a smaller diameter because internals are difficult to fix it and moving for any internal maintenance or plate replacement, something uh, it is very difficult to move inside. And let us understand how internals in a tray column. The most Famous and used uh, internals are in uh, uh, plate column is a bubble cap internals arrangement bubble cap column. So these are the picture and these are the uh, arrangement of that one single bubble cap here single bubble cap is there. So the liquid level always maintaining up to this one and the gas is entering through the cap and it will it will lift lift this the cap this uh, gas bubble will lift. This one and escaping through this one to like this. This way. This way route through the liquid. Liquid is here. Through a bubble it will go to another stage like that. One. Uh, has a racer or chimney fit, uh, fitted over each hole. This is the chimney here like, like this one. Fitted. Prevent the liquid from weeping through the vapor phase. So uh, when the gas is not going this uh, bubble cap is uh, sealed. And the welder, it will, it will uh, jointly, it will uh, tightly uh, jo uh, keep rest on the, this, this one. Uh, and uh, along with the VS and downcomers, maintain a liquid level on the trace. This will uh, show in the next slide. The liquid flows across the tray into the downcomer and across the next tray in the opposite direction. Always liquid will move from like this, like this, like this. I'm showing a next slide. The vapor flows up through the cap here. The vapor flows uh, uh, flows up to the cap and through the slot mixing with the liquid. So that's why. Like this one. Look at this one. The liquid, liquid, liquid flow. How the liquid flow? The liquid flow across the tray into the downcomer. Across the next tray with the opposite direction. Look at this one. This is a downcomer and beer. So liquid flow it is like this, then like this, then like this, then like this, like, this, cro like crossing the uh, bubble cap tray, active tray area here like that too. The same way this is the downcomer and inner inlet wear. see the wear is here, see look at the wear. So like this one flow is here, then here, then here like this. Okay this is the bubble gas assembly inside a uh, absorber tower. So, and uh, the flow pattern, uh, how the liquid flow pattern is going, as we have explained this one, vapor, vapor flow is like this. See the vapor flow, it is entering from here, it is crossing directional changes there, then passing through the liquid. That one. But liquid flow is, downcomer is there, see the downcomer here and wear is here. So, the liquid flow is always maintaining the liquid level here and the level is decreasing, decreasing, decreasing up to the wear head of the uh, upper portion of the wear, there is a liquid maintaining and it is passing through it like this so to the next st stage then it is uh, downcomer is here and cross flow so like this down then 
a vertical flow, then a horizontal flow, that is a crossing the uh, bubble cap trace, then it is coming down, then it is going down, then it is crossing the bubble cap again, the next stage and down. down. So this type of uh, flow is called the cross flow bubble tray operation. This is a cross flow and here look at this one, here different arrangement is here, bubble cap is same level and it is split cross flow. From here see two down comers are there, from that one it is coming to the center, split to cross flow, then another down comer is in the center instead of one corner, then it is here and then it is opposite direction, split to cross flow. Just uh, may click a pause and understand the uh, picture carefully, okay, and the cross flow and split to cross flow. And the down comers and veers and uh, uh, various types are there, uh, just to review the picture. A down comers is uh, <clears throat> rich solution from one tray to next to below. So it is moving from here, like the here, like here, crossing, like here. And the ceiling tray against upward movement of gas around the bubble gap. And uh, here uh, the gas cannot escape in this way. It will give a proper ceiling of uh, uh, escaping the gas in this way. That also a uh, down comers providing. And wear plate, the measuring device of the liquid level maintained in the tray here. That is the wear here. This this area. This is the wearing. Uh, this one here. Here they will provide. In this one I will show you that one here. Here the wear plate maintaining the level. That is the wear plate. The measuring device of the liquid levels maintained in the trays. Purely designed downcomers may result in tower flooding, low scrubbing, loss of sweetening solution. So always the internal design will be efficient and make sure that it should work properly. Otherwise, the entire performance of scrubbing uh, absorber, absorber, absorption operation will be down. Another type of uh, 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 trace are valve trace. See, look at this one. Downcomers are there. Liquid level is there. But the tray is not bubble cap. It's a uh, one-way type of valve. See, this is the closer position of valve. This is the open position. When the gas is pushing, the valve will open to one side and uh, releasing the gas bubbling through the liquid. Arrangement of valves through which gas must pass. The valve opening vary with the vapor velocity. Stop mechanism is engaged when the maximum opening. Another one is uh, not valve and not bubble gap. It is a perforated type, perforated type, perforated tray tower. See, instead of valve and uh, bubble gap, there is a small, uh, small, like a mesh or filter, like a mesh is connected here. See, plate to prevent the vapor escape. See, here it is a vapor escape will not come through, only liquidity will go like that one. See, down comer is there. All others are same. But uh, this uh, gas escaping method, the internal is different. Hole drill it uh, in it instead of bubble cap and wall, equipped with the down comers and wear plate. The number of size and holes is extremely critical. Low efficiency, they are present at low vapor velocities. And uh, let us uh, quickly review on uh, packed uh, bed, uh, packed towers or packed contactors, similar to plate column. The liquid and vapor flow enters and exits in the same manner. That is already we discussed. No trace packing is used to increase the contact area between the liquid and vapor phases. Gas liquid uh, contact is uh, continuous, not stage-wise in a plate column. Flow counter current. Performance depends on the good distribution gas and liquid. Here, here the packing is filled instead of uh, number of stages or number of uh, uh, bubble cap traces. So randomly it is filled. So, type of packing, provided large surface area, have open structure, low resistance to gas flow, promote uniform liquid distribution on packing surface, promote uniform gas flow across the column cross section. The choice of packing material is uh, dependent on the nature of fluid, like corrosive, forming, uh, less flow, different type of phase, uh, uh, what are the different type of chemicals involved, etc, etc, etc. And operating temperature, a ceramic packing suitable for corrosive liquid C. So various type of packing, metallic is there, plastic is there, ceramic is there. 
so uh, depend on the nature of the fluid which is uh, selection of uh, uh, packing material unsuitable for use of strong alkali plastic packing are attacked uh, by some organic solvent plastic packing can use uh, only for moderate temperature ceramic packing can usually easily broken when column operation unstable metal packings are more suitable so let us see some of the packing rushing uh, rings oldest specifically especially manufactured type of random packing available in variety of material ceramic metal plastic and carbon metal and plastic uh, polypropylene rings are more efficient than ceramic rings rushing rings are cheaper per unit volume than pearl rings and saddles less efficient so pearl rings rushing rings uh, in which openings have uh, have been made by folding uh, strips on the surface into the ring another type of uh, this one pearl ring this increase free area and improves the liquid distribution characteristics available in all varieties uh, metal and plastic uh, and other forms uh, this is another type of uh, internals packings another one see pearl saddles provide improved liquid distribution compared to rushing rings various uh, uh, internals are giving uh, better uh, better uh, advantage and disadvantage based on the typical nature of the fluid we are selecting that one so thanks for watching this video we have uh, some more uh, uh, chapters uh, pending on uh, gas processing uh, definitely we will come back to with another video gas processing part 4 uh, please review this video again and again understand about the basic concept of gas processing so thanks for watching this video please subscribe this channel for daily updates and information please joining our telegram channel infos by hamsa bibawa for various updates so until then uh, seeing uh, bringing another uh, uh, video gas processing part 4 uh, take care stay home stay safe definitely we will see again thank you